And despite the fact that Crystal Champion is a meager 23% on the look scale, she is ugly on the inside. She's an absolute brat. She's spoiled. Her parents are a retired army enlistee and an insurance agent. She likes to grub the money. I mean, I know she's only zero years old right now, but she is not a very nice person. But she's gonna be trying to bat out of her league today and get guys that she feels like she deserves. We're gonna see how that goes. Let's age our bebe up. She's not gonna spend any time with her parents because why would she do that? You broke your parents' bed while you and all your friends were jumping on it. I was like, come on girls, let's ruin this bed. It wasn't even come on girls, let's jump on this bed. It was come on girls, destroy it! Oh, this is a nice new bed frame. Ah! It wasn't me. I lied about it. Wait, I've got a brother. Xander? That's it. He's getting it. Wait, what does it say here? Petulance? Sorry, I need a refresher. What does petulance mean? Oh, you petulant boy. Childish, sulky, or bad-tempered. Oh, so my brother's just like me. Isn't that great? I'm, I'm gonna get ya. You assaulted him, you whipped his chin. He deserved it. Can I assault him twice in the same year? Let's get him again. Boom, you jammed his finger. That's what you get. My looks went down from 23 to 19. This isn't going all that well for me. I've been contemplating learning how to cook tuna casserole. I really like to overestimate my abilities. I saw my mom cooking a souffle and I was like, hmm, perhaps I'll cook a tuna casserole. Hmm? I practiced a hard boiled egg and it broke, but eggs are supposed to break. You know what they say about Humpty Dumpty. I started elementary school. Crystal Champion has blessed you with her presence and she's ready to find the date that she always deserved right after she assaults her brother. Ah! I lacerated his hip and he deserved it. He deserved it. Ooh, my looks went up. I feel like maybe it's because like, I'm so confident and I'm so happy that like just that in itself will improve my looks. At least that's what I feel. I'm gonna drop out, girl. My parents won't let me, which is totally, totally fine. Where's the love? There is no love yet, I'm too young, so I'm going to the movies. Mom, will you give me money so I can go to the movies? She gave me 20 bucks. Thanks, mom, that's all I need you for. Time to go and see my favorite, my favorite film, the most highbrow film there ever was, Weird Wednesday. It's a weird one. Hey, Devin. Hey, Brady. You okay? I'm all right. Yeah, Wednesdays are always hard. And weird. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo! I loved Weird Wednesday. It's my, it's my favorite film. Seven years old. My brother's only five. All right, I'm just gonna squabble with him. You squabbled with your little brother Xander about which one of you the cat loves more. And I was like, oh, obviously me. Like, come on here. And the kid was like, I think the cat likes me because I feed the cat. And I was like, you know what? I don't believe you. My little brother started elementary school. Oh, I hate him. Overpopulation causes dangerous food shortages in the United Kingdom. Well, thankfully, I exist and I can cook a mean tuna casserole. I put a lot of onions, celeries, all the vegetables. 10 years old. 10 years old. Ugh, oh, I don't want to talk to my parents. Hey, Xander, what do you want to argue about? You quarreled with your little brother Xander about whose turn it is to feed the dog. Xander, you always feed the dog. You feed both the dog and the cat. Why would that change? Just because I never do it doesn't mean that it should change. I mean, you're already like in the whole routine of taking care of everything, so why don't you just keep doing it? Try to argue with that flawless logic. I destroyed him with facts and logic. Your father passed away already. How old am I? 10, 11, 12, 13? I told my dad to eat nice things, like my celery. Actually, he ate my celery and then he died. He was allergic to celery. I said that like I cooked the allergies out of the celery because I know everything. He believed me and now he's dead. Oh, I'm skipping the funeral. There we go. You've been diagnosed with depression. That's it. I'm taking it out on my future lover. Where's the man of my dreams? Oh. Jeremiah Wrecked. Hopefully he doesn't wreck me. There's a boy from school named Jeremiah Wrecked who you think is really cute. And I walked right up to him and I was like, listen, you're really good looking, you're really popular, and I mean, you're smarter than me, so that's got, that's something working for you, and I am a blessing! So obviously you'll date me. For sure, 100% he'll ask me out. He rejected me. I did get wrecked. 
great. He obviously didn't see the glory of what he's missing, and there's gotta be another guy who really truly understands. Clayton Meyer, extremely good looking, but not very popular. Surely, by dating me, his popularity is going to skyrocket through the roof because everybody just thinks I'm amazing. He asked me out. He did? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't expect that. If he's asking me out, then, I mean, he should just get in line with everybody else. I want to be the person who asks out the guy. I want to be the person who convinces the guy, like, yeah, you should date me. And plus, Clayton's not popular at all. I'm rejecting him. Anthony Clarkson. There's a boy from school named Anthony Clarkson who you think is pretty cute. He is, uh, I mean, pretty average across the board. But I don't like the answer, no, he might reject me, because no one would ever reject me, so I'm asking him out. He rejected me. Oh, well then, let's go to 15. My happiness, not very good. Not very good. And my looks went from a cloud to a raining cloud. So that's not very good. I think that I need to go and see my favorite children's movie before I fall in love again. Beam me up, Bart. That's a children's film? Okay, I'll go see it. Kind of nervous. Never been beamed before. Don't worry, dude. It's gonna be great. Right on. So you're not gonna, like, hurt me? What? Why? What do you mean? You know, I'm getting beamed. No, no. This is a kid's move. Okay, you know what? Go back to Cheryl's. My happiness has improved and I'm ready to date. I'm ready to find the man of my dreams, and if the man of my dreams doesn't like me back, then I'm going to act out and take it out on every single person that gets in my way. You're tempted to ask out a boy named Brian Hunt. I'm gonna ask him out. He rejected me and he called me a dimwit. Have you seen my smarts, Brian? I'm at a staggering 56%. How could he not see the gift that's in front of him? I'm really like laying on how full of herself Crystal Champion is, but you know what? That's just who she is. I'm taking the driving test, mm-hmm. What does this road sign mean? Well, obviously, two-way traffic. Like, come on, get over yourself. I'm so smart. All right, time to find some more love. Oh, I keep looking at my dad, I'm gonna mourn. He is in a better place now. You know who isn't in a better place? My brother. I whipped his armpit. And now, it's time to find the love of my dreams. There's a boy from school named Oliver James who you think is pretty cute. He's 17. He is um, about 50% good looking, which is, I mean, a whole lot better than me, but I am so full of myself that I don't even notice. His smarts are very high and his popularity is very high. This is my kind of man right here. He called me a 304. What's a 304? 304 read upside down looks like the letters ho. Oh my gosh! He called me a ho! For your information, I have never had a date in my life. How dare you call me a, a 304, a ho upside down. What is that? Xander thinks that he can go to high school. Well, guess what, Xander? You're not gonna have fun, because I'm not having fun. You attacked him, but he dodged you? What? That's it, I'm going for him again. He dodged me again. My brother got fast over the years. I'm gonna go to the movies. I'm still really sad. Safari on the Savannah. This seems like, definitely like a film that all the 304s would like. But when Gary saw the proboscis monkey's large nose, he knew he would no longer need Pornhub. I enjoyed it. I graduated from high school. How wonderful. I have anxiety. Maybe all these years of rejection is kind of like wearing on my confidence a little bit. All right, so, hmm. I don't know about this whole university thing. I'm not going. I'm gonna do something I was meant to do. I mean, I'm crystal champion, right? So dishwasher, no. Fast food, no. Retailer, nope. Factory worker, no. Male stripper, maybe. You got rejected. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna be a cashier. I'm not gonna be a janitor. This all seems so boring. Is there like a chef? I do make a fine tuna casserole. Plumber. I mean, plumber's not really my thing, but it's a pretty good paycheck. You didn't get an interview, okay. Well, I mean, all this rejection, like, it's not really, not helping me out too much, so it's time to start dating. Who wants some of this, hot mama? You met a boy named Brian Bell. He's 16. I'm gonna ask him on a date. Are you sure you wanna ask a 16-year-old on a date? Legal age of consent in the United States is 18. Ah! Okay, what, uh, what I wanna know is what happens if I do? Oh. I see. Well, I definitely can't afford a uh, lawyer, so I'm gonna get a public defender. And I'm in prison. Great. Perfect. My life is going great for me right now. Thankfully, I made a lot of friends in prison. And like, shaky legs. 
Gorgonzola Man. Milk. He just goes by Milk, I don't know why. Uh, I'm gonna peel my sentence. I didn't date a minor! I just asked him out to see what would happen! I mean, that sounds really bad too. Oh, jeez. Okay, sweet freedom. I'm released from prison, and now I can go back to uh, what I was doing before. Exorcist! Okay, so, Crystal Champion is definitely the kind of girl who walks into the room and all of the demons are gone. They're gone, so I'm doing it. Let's go. I'm an exorcist. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, this is the first time I've ever not been rejected. I don't really know what to do besides let my confidence just blow up through the roof. It's time to get a date. Guess what I do, Keenan Ruth? I... Okay, I went to jail for this the first time. You're not my type. Let's try it again. Why are all these boys 16? This game is trying to put me into jail. I'm not doing that. 21, oh. While sitting on a park bench, you meet a young man named Miles Packard. He is pretty crazy. He's not my type. He's not good looking enough. I'm gonna try dating again. This guy is just not, I mean, look at those stats, yuck. I'm an exorcist, like, I deserve the love. Maybe I could be like a sugar mama exorcist. Jamal Simpson. While playing chess at the park with an old man, you meet a dude named Jamal Simpson. He is 18, good looking, no money. Sorry, Jamal. I'm gonna try to ask him out, and if I don't like it, I'll dump him. Jamal rejected me, he called me a biznotch. Okay, <laughs> that's not the way I was expecting this to go, but... Do, do I get raises for being an exorcist? Maybe these guys would like me better. Jackson Spielberg. Not my type. Jackson Morris. While strolling through the park, you meet a young man named Jackson Morris. He's not good looking at all, not very rich. Oh my, can I get someone good? You're 16, go away! Ah, oh, here we go. Seamus Cobbledick. A dude you met while playing chess at the park with an old man? I, I tend to do that. I play chess against old men and I'm like, checkmate. And they're like, um, you're using the wrong board. He's very good looking, he's very rich, and he's 24, my kind of guy. I'm now dating Seamus Cobbledick. Hopefully my exorcism job will accept Seamus Cobbledick into our church. While out getting a coffee, you witness a redneck soliciting a prostitute. What do you do? I'm trying to intervene because I want to be hired myself. You successfully stop the redneck from soliciting a prostitute. That's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Now the prostitute won't even get paid. Like, I didn't- I don't think I did anything good here. I'm gonna work harder. I'm suffering from itchy bottom. If I get more bad news, I'm gonna lose my fish. I'm gonna lose my fish. This bit life thing is great. Itchy bottom, huh? Well, I'm just gonna let the itchy bottom do its thing. I need a raise. Rejected. I'm working harder. Listen, um, Seamus Cobbledick, you are about to marry me. He rejected me. Okay, well, listen, um, Seamus Cobbledick, you are about to get dumped. <laughs> How do you like that? Tired of getting rejected all the time. Oh, cold tan. He's not very tan, but he seems nice. He's good looking, smart, money. Okay, ask him on a date. He rejected me, he called me psycho. I think it's because I was scratching my butt the entire time I talked to him. And maybe I should go to the doctor. Ooh, adopt? Criminal record? I can't adopt? I'm not gonna try to date my kid. It was, a, it was a social experiment. It was just a prank, bro. Okay, am I gonna burgle a lumberjack, a stockbroker, or a surfer dude? The surfer dude probably isn't gonna have anything of value. However, his security is probably gonna be the least uh, tight knit. I feel like the kind of person to be a lumberjack isn't the kind of person to be extremely high maintenance. So I don't think he's gonna have a, like a bunch of valuables laying around the house. However, the stockbroker, I feel like his security is gonna be too good. I'm gonna go for the surfer dude because I'm sure he's got a PS4 laying around there somewhere. The second I start, these two dogs are gonna come at me. The surfer guy is also gonna come at me, so what I'm gonna try to do is get the guitar and make a break for it. I'm going to jail. <laughs> I'm going to jail for sure. Okay, let's go. Gonna get the teddy bear, getting greedy. Ah! <laughs> you burgled the surfer dude's home and stole his guitar and childhood teddy bear. <laughs> The childhood teddy bear isn't worth anything to the general public, but it was worth everything to him, so I stole it. The pawn shop gave you $413 for the items. I'm rich, girl. Why would they give me $13 for a used, snot-covered teddy bear? Hopefully there wasn't a diamond in it or something. Okay, Hugh Little? Your smarts are too little. Ooh, Tom 
Buffett. You've met a young man named Tom Buffett, age 21, a magician at the Stockholm Brothers Circus. A magician? Very good looking, very smart, pretty rich, we could work on it, and very crazy. I think that he's my kind of guy. He rejected me. Okay, I guess I'll just work harder at uh, exercising demons. And I'm gonna ask for a race. I've been rejected. Okay, um, hmm. Hey mom, can I have some money? She gave me 200 bucks. Can I ask my brother for money? Why can't I? I'm assaulting him. I shattered his ear. It's kind of interesting how my brother will never call the cops on me. Kind of appreciate that. All right, time to find some love. And I can go on a dating app. Wow, okay. I can afford it now. Montgomery Fokker? The dating app has paired you with a dude named Montgomery Fokker. 20 years old, apprentice cameraman at Johnson Broadcasting Co Corporation. He's good looking. He's not very smart. No money and crazy. Uh, nope. I want to find somebody who is worth my time. I'm Crystal Champion. I don't know how many times I have to remind you. Oh, Christopher Bauer. You meet a boy named Christopher Bauer. 16. Okay, let's get out of here. Next, Clayton. Okay, 16. Let's get out of here. Okay, I, if I get another 16 year old, I'm gonna scream. Lucas Weiner is the only one who isn't 16, but he is gross, so he's not my type. Oh. Can I get someone good? Hmm. Peyton Reynolds. Can I get someone with more than a shred of a penny? No money, but everything else looks great. I'm asking him on a date. He rejected me. He called you an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I've got more smarts than you. I'm pissed. I can't breathe in here. Maybe I should like go and exercise the demons out of myself. A young man you met while sitting on the train station is asking you on a date. He is not money. He's not money. <laughs> okay, please. Please, give me a raise. Please! I am the best exorcist there ever was! I'm browsing other job listings. There's gotta be like a, 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 an exorcist that makes more money out here. Chimney sweep. <sighs> am I gonna have to rob another house? Moonshiner, what is that? I don't know what that is. I'm not doing it. I'm scared. I'm offering exorcisms if you want some. Javier Fokker. On your way to the shooting range, you meet a young man named Javier Fokker. <sighs> He's got money, let's ask him on a date. He rejected me, he called me a hoe bag. Why does everybody keep calling me a hoe bag? Why is my looks 4%? Why is my health so bad? <gasps> I never diagnosed my itchy bum! That's it, I'm going to an alternative doctor. Acupuncture, let's go. Didn't help at all. Okay, um, please, somebody fix me. I'm going to a witch doctor. Try it, why not? You died. I died! Are you serious right now? I died? I died from itchy butts? Itchy butt and human placenta do not mix. I died at the age of 23. I'm shocked. I'm hurt. I'm upset. I don't know what to do. I've never died this young. Did I deserve it? I mean, probably. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got rejected a hundred times. Maybe, maybe I should be nicer in the future. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I died. Crystal Champion's life was cut short by a witch doctor at the early age of 23. Her funeral was attended by her mother and her little brother, Xander. Her friends described her as a moron. All right, well, huh. how, are, how are they, what kind of friends are that? What kind of friends are that? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye. What, what a mess. Hey, Devin. Brady. Hey. Hey, man. Why are you acting like you haven't seen me in a while? Because <laughs> have. <laughs> hey, Devin. Oh, hey, Brady. Hey, did you get your ribbon? No. It's Wednesday Ribbon Day. You're giving this to me? Ever, everyone gets one. Well, where's yours? I ate it. Oh <laughs>